Hello guys, it's Lee. Hey, this morning I'm in Springfield, Tennessee, Mid-State Turf and Tractor. Uh, so we're just north of Nashville, Middle Tennessee, um, and we're fixing to look at some Spartan mowers. So let's take a look. All right, guys, so we're over here under the awning. I got Mike Mitchell here. He is the territory sales manager for Spartan, and we're getting a look at one of the residential lines right here, and I'm going to kind of turn it over to him and uh, just let him talk and tell us about this one. Mike Mitchell here with Spartan Mowers, and I'm going to talk about our best-selling model. This is the RZHD. Now, we make mowers anywhere from smaller to a 42-inch if you're going to cut half acre, three quarter acre, all the way up to a 72 inch with a 40 horsepower engine. But this right here is our best selling model. It's the RZHD series. It's our entry level when it gets to, when it comes to Parker Hydraulics, which are 100% hydraulic with no gear reduction in it, so it's not a gear driven unit. It's our entry level to the nine and a half gallon fuel tanks. Our smaller mowers have a five gallon fuel tank. And also this is our entry level to the ROPS mowers, which is a rollover protection. So talking about this one right here, also I forgot the rear radial tires. It's our entry level to the standard rear radial tires. Now, the benefit of radial tires are they're still belted. They're a lot stronger. You can run less air pressure in, in them. They grip the ground better, so they ride softer. You get more traction with the rear radial tires. Our mowers, the weight distribution and the balance is very precise on them. And so when you put it on a hill, it's going to hold a hill better than pretty much any other zero turn out there with pivoting front tires on it. Now, there still are limitations with zero turn mowers, so you always need to follow, uh, follow the manufacturer's um, you know, the uh, recommendation from the degrees and everything. But this just makes it a little bit more stable. So talking about some of the features of all of our mowers, you have a parking brake right here you press one side to release it one side to lock it to adjust the deck height you simply press the the deck pedal then you twist this dial and then you lower it down and that's it it's locked in place you have a control console so rather than having a universal key you can enter a personalized code to start it and once you enter the code it'll turn that on you press and hold start to start it It'll tell you if the, the battery is low, if you're not sitting in the seat, or if the handle is not in neutral, if the uh, parking brake is not engaged, or if the PTO is up. And then once all that is good, you're gonna get a green light here and it's good to start it. You have a phone holder, 12 volt outlet, cup holder on the other side, and then also a storage pocket. Now, one thing Spartans are known for is not only the strength, the weight distribution, the balance, the cut, and the ride comfort and everything, it's easy accessible. Things are easy to get to, easy to clean, um, easy to maintain. This floorboard comes out and you can see our inch and a half by three inch frame rail really well. We have split metal pulleys. With this split metal pulley, it starts off at one piece of metal and then a machine will cut the end, split the end and then roll it into shape. But then it'll machine out the center. Then you press in the bearing. Then you have a, um, a patent uh, dust cap that goes on top of that. And so you have less flop and less wear and tear. It's just a very, very strong pulley. We even put a deck dampener right here next to the idler spray. And the benefit of that is um, it's, it's not gonna allow the, uh, the belts to bounce around as much. So it's gonna smoothen it out. It controls the vibration on it. And again, it helps prolong the life of, of the machine. So the dampener is something uh, pretty unique, because yeah, it typically is a spring on most mowers, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. We're the only manufacturer that uses that. And that also is paired to going back to this console right here. This has what's called a smart start clutch on it. So basically this PTO switch right here, it pulsates. When you turn it on, it pulsates it for a little less than one second. So rather than a, have a hard engage on or a hard off, it allows it to kind of slowly come up. And so it helps the life of the clutch brake and everything else. Is good. So it's just a very unique, great feature. And also that PTO switch, they rate that at 250,000 cycles. 
And for that reason, the manufacturer of that console right there, they give a lifetime warranty on the PTO switch itself. Um, the actual console is three years lifetime on that PTO switch. So it's very unique. Yeah, nice. So this is your upper end residential mower. Is that what you're telling me? Is that? That is correct. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, that's nice. And if you look underneath, and again, seven gauge deck on everything that we do, which is a commercial thickness. And if you look underneath the seat. Okay. Then it just shows you how open and accessible everything is. Easy to work on. Very easy to get to everything. If you need, a, again, clean maintenance, the whole nine yards. And you're looking at the Parkers, our smaller mowers, we use top torque. And then our mid range and larger ones, again, it goes to the Parkers. That's the Kawasaki engine there. Absolutely. It's a Kawasaki FR691 on this one, which is a 48 inch cut. You can also get it in a 54 or 61 inch cut. 61 inch cut gets the Kawasaki FR730. You can also get it with a Briggs and Stratton CXI engine as well. And the engines we offer are going to be the Briggs and Stratton, the Kawasaki, and then also Vanguards. Okay. Yes, yes. Solenoids easy. Everything's easy to get to. Absolutely. Right there's the deck. And it's little things too, like this pulley cover right here. Yep. It's very easy to remove it. You have a soft grip knob right, right there. You just loosen that up. You can remove that cover. Um, it's completely flat and open throughout here, being that we have a seven gauge deck. We don't have to put tons of reinforcement on it. And so that allows you to take a blower and just simply blow stuff out after a cut. Um, and then you have it reinforced in the front. Uh, and then having this 45 degree bend in the front of the deck, that also helps with the strength. Um, obviously, anytime you put a bend on it, just makes it a lot stronger and better. Hey, if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. So you got it there from Mike Mitchell. This is, so this is the high-end residential. So RZ HD, I'll get a good picture of that. But remember, we're at Mid-State Turf and Tractor, Springfield, Tennessee. If you're interested in knowing more about that, go see, uh, go see the guys here. All right, thank you.